Sagittarius, thank you so much for watching Mama Faya Tarot. This is going to be your 2021 predictions. I'm going to go through each month, pull one card for each month and see what's coming up for you. And then I will pull extended, I mean, clarifiers in the extended on ribbon experiences. And I will leave the extended info in the description box um, and comments if I happen to remember <laughs> the comments. All right. My Saggies, so this is going to be what's coming in for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node, whatever strong placement you have. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming through. I really appreciate you. If you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, and what else? If you'd like a personal reading with me, whether you want your own personal 12-month spread or one of the regular readings I normally do without a spread at all, um, and just do my thing, then you can meet me on uh, Zoom through Everybody in My Wellness Center. The link is in the description box below. Or you can order a uh, Wissio video response reading. Although I don't do these 12 months, um, it's not enough time. I Those Wissios are only like 10 minutes long usually. So, All right, my loves. I adore you. So let's just get into it. Um, also check that description box below for all my links to the socials and all that other fun stuff. Um, and the Green Witch Home and all that other stuff that I include. All right. So the Queen of Pentacles coming up, so that's good energy, Sag. Um, if you have any Leo in your chart, please go check that one out. That one came out amazing. Um, all right. Dear Father God, Mother Earth, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering this sacred space, so won't it be. That was the Six of Cups. All right, January. Ooh, Saggy, January, Ten of Swords. All right, you may be cutting some people out, or but the Ten does denote the end of suffering. So, I just noticed this damn string from the sweater, sorry. Um, so, yeah, anyway. Um, I do think this Ten of Swords is rough, rough energy for January. So, I don't know what's going on. Um, if, But I do think it's more about like you letting go of a lot of pain you know, and, and just like, you can see these hands are up and they're letting go. So there's an element of letting go here that is happening in, in, I don't know why I almost said September, in January. All right. Oh, but that's rough. Something or ending something, definitely an ending to something that may be a bit painful, Saggy. All right. February, February, February. Oh, there's a card that got mixed in. Eight of swords. Eek. All right. February from my Saggies. What's coming through in February from my Sagalicious says, Ooh, Ace of Swords. All right. So there's some truth that's going to get revealed. Maybe from this ending that happens in January. Um, but yeah, some, some truths are coming out. And it's very important that you keep it honest here, Saggy. Um, you know, this looks like a brain almost. Like a web brain almost. And I think that's really interesting. <laughs> To me, for some reason, that's what that looks like. It's also like knots, rope, you know? And so it's like cutting through any entanglements. February is what that's about. Oh, five of cups of match. Oh, saggy. What's going on, babies? Definitely some sadness, maybe from whatever's revealed in February. But make sure that, you know, you're paying attention to these two other cups that you still got, Sag. Uh, this is hugely different from the Leo reading. But yeah, you're going through some stuff in March. Uh, you may be missing somebody or... But don't let the really heavy energies bring you down, Saggy. Look, I'm a Sag moon. I'm not liking this. Um, and my daughter's a Sag. So... But just keep it honest about how you're feeling. Oh, four... Okay, so April. Uh, you may be saving your money or holding back. Maybe taking some time for yourself in April, but this definitely looks like someone who is, you know, a little worried about maybe because of whatever traumatic experience is happening in the beginning of the year. And, you know, maybe this won't resonate, you know, um, I'm hoping it won't. I, 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 mean, I, I get what I get. And also, if you buy the extended, um, you know, we'll, we'll clarify all these and see exactly what this is talking about, but... Man, this is kind of rough energy to start the year. There's no doubt. Um, you may be saving your money 
in April. Um, I'm getting maybe taxes may mess you up a little bit. Eek, I hope that's not true for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It is tax time. Um, let's see. What about May? Seven of coins, king of coins, and the eight of swords. Whoa. All right, so you may have put a lot of work into something, and it may be proven to be fruitless, you know, and uh, you may need to put your money elsewhere. You're still a king of coins, though. So I'm not getting that you lost a lot of money or anything here. But you may feel the need to save money or pinch pinch pennies um, in, in April. And it leads to you sort of getting a little stuck in your head. But keep working on it, okay? Because, you know, it does look like you're working very, very hard in May. Uh, maybe to try and make up for any losses you had in the beginning of the year. All right, June, June. June, watch your mental energy in May. You know, talk to talk to people about how you're feeling. June, ooh, June looks much better. You are heading right towards abundance in June. Okay, so things turn around for you. Rough beginning of the year, but it looks like things are really turning around come June for my Saggies. Um, you've got good money coming in. So whatever it is that you were stressing about in May, it comes to fruition in June, and you really start to make some huge strides. So that's beautiful. All right, June, July, July, July. Whoa, two of wands in the moon. So you're still dealing with some emotions, uh, some residual um, energies. Maybe you have two different things you could do because of the options that were opened and all the hard work that you did in you know the previous months. Um, you may be a little worried about the future. Try not to, I think, because you did have a rough first part of the year. Just because you have a rough first part of the year doesn't mean the whole year is going to be horrible, though, Sage. You know? Whoa. Uh, so, June, July, August. August is big changes coming in. Big, humongous changes. Um, and it does look like it's, like, going back to, like, some spiritual work that you may do in these months. Um, you know, and, and you may be feeling, um, a little scared, but you're going to find what's, what's behind the curtain and whatever illusions or whatever decisions you had to make the month before, it's going to lead to big, big changes. Okay. I know this is a little, this is a little heavier, Sag. All right. So August, September, what's coming in for September? Saggy. What's coming in from Saggy in September? September. Sagittarius 2021. Ten of coins. All right. Huge turnaround, like I said. And discovering what's really behind the curtain actually leads to huge abundance for you. This is amazing. Amazing. Um, so, again, like I said, just because a year begins kind of rocky... It really doesn't mean that, like, it's going to end rocky, okay? And these big changes that happen in August are amazing. They're going to lead to amazing, amazing growth in September. So I think your bank account is going to be looking delicious. So in April, in March, and, and even maybe February and January, when you're feeling, and, and even the first half of the year, remember that things are going to get better. Okay, I'm on the pursuit of happiness, and I know. Uh, so, yeah, you're on the pursuit of happiness. And sometimes that's rocky and bumpy, but, you know, it really looks like September looks delicious, surrounded by, like, family, friends. Um, you know, you may have some real celebrations going on. All right, October. Ooh, Ace of Wands and Three of Swords. So what I do think you're going to be doing in October is writing about some of these more traumatic experience that you went through. And really, that's going to transmute that negative energy of the Three of Swords inside you. Because this does look traumatic, whatever happens in the beginning of the year. But try to, you know, really watch and write about it. That Those writings um, could really help somebody else. And I'd love to see you, you know, that's a great way to transmute. Turn your pain into something positive, like a poem, a song, um, whatever, a painting, something. 
um, that, you know, is going to, it will absolutely help other people. All right, November, two of cups. Wow. So by transmuting this hurt and pain that happens in the beginning of the year. So we've got the ten of coins, some beautiful energy here in, in October. And through this, this work um, of transmuting the negative energy, you bring in true blue love. That's absolutely delicious. I love it. Um, I do think that, you know, this two of cups is reciprocal love and, and beautiful, beautiful energy. It really is. Um, these two people feel exactly the same way for each other. And isn't that what we're all looking for? Right? Two of cups is one of my favorite cards. So, all right, my beautiful Saggies. And what's coming in December, December, December? I'm going to take it. Four of cups. So make sure that you are expressing this love, okay? Um, this doesn't look like as rough as the usual four of cups to me, though. I do think you're going to be taking time to rejuvenate. That's more what I'm getting with this four of cups, is some time to refill the cup. You may have a lot of birds around you giving you messages in December, so um, or carolers or something. Uh, strength. So during your birthday season, and in, like, you know, it does look like November brings in true blue love. And you may be feeling the need to keep that love to yourself, though you may not want to announce it to the world quite yet. And a lot of this is going to be, you know, about internal work and developing your strength this year. This year, it's not going to be perfect, but it sure looks like it's, it's going to really make you much stronger. And, you know, by the end of it, the end of the year looks absolutely beautiful. So please don't worry and, and have hope for the future when you're going through some of these harder months. Um, and so I am going to um, now move on to the extended on ribbon and pull clarifiers for each of these so we can really get into exactly what all of this is. All right, Saji, I hope this resonated. I hope some of it resonated anyway, not all of it. I hope you got some... Um, you know, some, some great guidance here. And if, you know, you need to come see me during January, please book a reading. I'm here for you to help you get through this because there are brighter days ahead for Saggy. And, and I sure hope the second half of this reading resonates anyway. All right. I love you guys. Take care, Sag.